Hello everybody, welcome back to another unique item location guide here on Borderlands 3. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the unique grenade called the Chocolate Thunder. So to do this you're going to need to pick up a side mission called Just Desserts in the map Splinterlands. You will be uh, sent off to go and collect some spider ant eggs and also some barrels of gunpowder. And then you will bring them back to Beatrice and she will make you uh, an exploding bomb for a uh, cake to be sent to a uh, rival gang um, for one of the uh, the leader's birthday party basically once you've gone up and made all of them you can then go and deliver the chocolate cake and then uh, just send it down on like a minecart system etc and uh, wait for it to explode basically so a little bit of a warped twisted side mission right here but uh, it's quite fun to do anyway the, the uh, dialogue's pretty funny so uh, yeah once you've completed this mission you can go back to beatrice you can then melee a pinata which does absolutely nothing i was a bit disappointed i thought there was going to be uh, quite a lot of loot come out of this thing but nothing at all really unfortunately but once the mission is complete you can get this new unique grenade called the chocolate thunder which i have just earned right here you'll see it quite easily it's a piece of red velvet style looking cake with a candle on the top and uh, not a lot much is said on the uh, weapon card apart from it's a tdr grenade and it says boom chocolate on it that is all there is to know about it as for special things that the grenade does etc it really does not do a lot really it is uh, kind of like a direct contact grenade basically you throw it as soon as it hits an enemy it will explode all the ground it's quite damaging though i mean we're taking this uh, against level 25 mobs and uh, it's uh, exploding these small ones quite easily uh, things like skags and that uh, if there's two enemies quite close together as you can see it will take them both out at once so it's not a bad grenade at all really it doesn't do massive amounts of damage two uh, big shielded mobs or bosses or out like that really it'll just chunk out a little bit and uh, you can soon go through a lot of grenades using this as i found so i'm trying to scavenge some more now but i'm really not getting a lot more but yeah it's just a bit of a novelty item really it's worth using if you've got nothing else that's what i will say but uh, when you start coming up against bigger health enemies like this guy right here look you'll see that was a total miss anyway at the start so that's a fail uh, but there you go it's really just taking off small chunks of his health which isn't too good but anyway guys that is how to get the chocolate thunder not the best grenade really um there is better unique grenades um, that fungus grenade you got in the uh, last map was pretty good the witch mission one so something like that compare it to that this thing really is nothing great but still quite fun to use anyway and give it a try but yeah anyway guys that's how to get the chocolate thunder the unique grenade on the map splinterlands thank you guys for watching check out the link in the description for the playlist for the unique and legendary location guides and i will see you guys in the next one